Let's talk about names. First, my parents almost named me Denim. Yep, Denim. Maybe they were wearing denim vests at the time. All I know is that I dodged a denim bullet. But what's going on in the world does affect baby naming. Like not as many people are named Katrina after the hurricane hit. Elsa is much more popular since Frozen came out, and Arya from the Game of Thrones has been big. Not today. Business names also follow trends. Lots of companies are named after the founder. Think McDonald's, Adidas, Ford, JCPenney, Colgate, Tupperware, Wrigley's, Tiffany's, Chick-fil-A. Not that one. But you get the point. Sometimes they're named for ingredients. Coca-Cola for cocaine, and Pepsi for Pepsi. There's naming based on URL availability. The dropping vowels trend. The adding letters trend. Sometimes companies rename themselves. Dotson renamed a Nissan so their internal product strategy would make more sense. Remember Singular Wireless? Dropped once they merged with AT&T. Google recently introduced a parent company named Alphabet. Mm. And you've heard of ISIS, right? Not that ISIS, the other one. The mobile payments company. They had a PR storm on their hands and had no choice but to rename and rebrand. Then there's socially engineered names, like Lululemon. Maybe you think their name's a little see-through. You're right. Their name was chosen just because the market research showed it was popular, memorable, and easy to say. It has no other meaning. Speaking of memorable, the book Thinking Fast and Slow has some interesting stuff about how the mind remembers and associates names. I talked to the people who ran a study mentioned in the book, and they said that names that are more memorable are more trusted, which makes sense. 